Hey guys, it's Mira, and today I thought I would show you how to do what my quarantine hobby has become recently, and that's making DIY paper roses. They're so beautiful, and they're so much fun to make that I made an entire bucket full of them, which means they're also pretty easy to make. And I know that a lot of paper tutorials in general have a lot of complicated folding, so I made sure for this tutorial there's no complicated folding, but because there's no complicated folding, you do need glue. I use hot glue because I'm old enough and experienced enough with a hot glue gun, but if you're not, don't use hot glue unless you have a parent or an adult helping you. If you don't, just stick with normal glue. Okay, let's get started. All you need to make one paper rose is a sheet of any size, any color paper you want, scissors, a pencil, and glue. Let's start. So the first step is to turn your sheet of paper into a square. So if it's not already a square, you're gonna to wanna to turn it on its long side, take the corner and fold it towards the edge. And when this rectangle on the left has a nice straight edge, that's when you're going to wanna to fold the paper. So as you can see, I'm creasing it. And now I have a triangle and a rectangle on the top. So the triangle that I folded tells us that our paper now has all equal sides and it's a square. So we just need to cut this extra rectangle off. So now as I unfold this, you can see that I now have a square. So the next step is to cut the square into four equal sections or four equal squares. So the best way to do this is to fold it in half once, turn it, and then fold it in half again. Now I have one, two, three, four equal squares. So I'm gonna cut along those creases I made to make sure I cut them all nice and straight. So now we're gonna turn these squares into beautiful flower petals. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is fold it in half into a triangle once, then watch my finger and fold along that line, fold into a triangle again, and then flip, watch my finger, fold it over that imaginary line into a triangle again. So you're folding it in half into a triangle three times. So do that with the three other squares and now you have four triangles. Next step is to cut off the tips of all of these. So now that we've done that, we can start cutting the flower petals. So what you're gonna do is take your pencil and you're gonna draw two humps because when we unfold this later, then that will be eight humps because we folded it so many times, the cutting will transfer. So draw your two humps. They don't have to be perfect because you're gonna cut along this line. So if you decide you don't like something, you just don't have to follow the pencil line. So don't worry too much about this. Sometimes I don't even draw the pencil line. So now, you're going to cut along your line or just however you want. And then along the way, you can just, you know, choose to cut off certain parts if you don't like the way you drew it. Even I like to round out that edge sometimes because it looks too sharp. And then when you're done, you can unfold it and look, beautiful flower petals. And even in this state, you can chop off some or fix some if you don't like the way it looks. So do that to all four of them. And now you have four flower petals. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take the first one and we're gonna cut one petal out of it. Now we're gonna take the next one and instead of cutting one petal out of it, we're gonna cut two petals out of it because we're gonna fold these over later and then they're gonna get smaller in size based on how many more petals we cut out of it. So we're gonna cut two petals out of this one, but save that one, because we're gonna use that two petal attachment later. Then you're gonna take the next one, and you guessed it, we're gonna cut three petals out of it. And then for the last one, since there's eight and we're gonna take four out, we're just gonna cut it in half. Hey. 
So now that we cut an increasing number of petals out of each one, we're going to fold them back over each other and glue them together so they sit like real rose layers. So first what we have to do is since there were so many creases because we folded that triangle so many times, we're going to fold all those creases in so they all fold inwards and they fold in like a circle. So they're all in one direction. And now what we're going to do is since we have two edge petals, we're just going to glue them together. So you're going to put your glue on one of the edge petals and then you're going to take the other one and you're going to fold it over it like that and then you're going to press down to make sure that glue stays and then once you've pressed it down and you're sure it's stuck you're just going to set it aside to dry and do the other ones we're doing the same thing with all of these we're going to fold their creases inward so they're all in one direction we're going to take the glue, put it on one of the edge petals, and then we're going to fold the other petal over and squish them together. So finally, you're going to take that two-piece section we cut out earlier, take some glue, put it on one petal, and then from the side that's dry, you're going to roll it up onto the side that has glue, because this is going to be the centerpiece of our rose. Then what I like to do, since it's all flat from rolling it, I like to take my pencil and stick it in the hole and use that to help shape it so it acts more like a funnel instead of just a flat piece of rolled paper. So now that we've made all our pieces, it's time to construct them together to make a rose. So you're going to take the second largest piece, which is the one that you cut two petals out of, squirt some glue on the tip, and we're going to stick that inside the largest piece, which is the one that we cut one petal out of. So once you do that, you're going to insert that right into the tip of the largest piece, and you're going to press down. So I actually usually do this with hot glue, but since I don't want you kids using hot glue and you don't need to use hot glue, I'm going to show you how to do it with glue that maybe doesn't dry so fast and so nicely. So you're going to take a pencil with little or no eraser and you're going to use that to push it down into your mat, which is why I told you to use a mat because I don't want glue getting on your table. Glue is going to squirt through that hole. So once you push that down, it'll stick to the mat. It won't dry to the mat, so you don't have to worry about that. But just now you have a nice surface and everything's laying flat so it's just going to be a lot easier to stick the rest of them in so you're taking the third largest piece now you're going to squirt glue on that tip and you're going to stick it in as well and you're going to repeat that with the fourth largest piece and the smallest piece so keep using your pencil to stick it down see how it's not going to stick to the mat so don't worry but see how i'm kind of just moving it around making sure from all sides that every single part of the tip of these pieces is sticking in because we don't want this falling out. So since it's not hot glue, it doesn't dry instantly. So what you're going to want to do is alter it, make sure it's the way you want when it's dry. And I just got a toilet paper roll, but you can use a cup. And you're going to want to lay it in there to dry so it's sitting upright, the tip isn't drying to anything, and none of the pieces will shift around. So that's the simple way to make beautiful paper roses. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you had fun making stuff with me.